What up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of One Armor TV. Today we're gonna do a skin fail on this gentleman. Stay tuned. <laughs> First, I create my first guideline with my babyless trimmer about two inch above the ear. I want to make sure I get a straight line from the right side going towards the left side. You want to make sure you get all the ear off the client skin properly. I'm taking my time to slowly spin the chair while I create my first guideline. This client has gray hair and sometimes gray hair can be a bit challenging so you want to make sure you take your time to create a nice guideline removing the hair properly to create space for a fading. So please stick with me through this video. It's only going to get better. So if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share. So you can also hit the notification button for new alert. Then I go in with my Andes file to make sure I get that clean, bald fade. So what I'm doing, I'm taking my time to remove all those stopper and gray hair that's poking out from the skin. Being a barber, you want to make sure you are consistent and you are humble. That's two of the most important rules I learned as a barber inside the barber shop. So stay consistent. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to stay consistent with my craft and remain humble so I can be able to get the best result. Getting the best result and a haircut is, was and will always be my priority because I consider my clients as my billboard so I gotta make sure I get the best result whenever they go out there to represent Amrit. I don't have a billboard on the highway that you can see miles when you're driving to advertise my work so I consider all my client as my walking billboard. Now I'm gonna go forward with my half guard and my babyless clipper with the lever halfway open. I'm gonna make slow steady strokes to make sure I achieve the desired length for my client here. As you all can see, I'm going with the grain. I'm gonna start from the top and go forward and work my way around the side of the head according to the growth of the hair. You wanna make sure you find that colic and go with the green take your time and make slow strokes with the green you want to continue doing so until you get that ear level but as i mentioned before gray ear can be sometimes stubborn and one of the hardest here to actually get level so you want to make sure you go over and over and always remember practice become perfect so you gotta practice in whatever you do Gotta practice you gotta do a lot of practice nothing happens overnight so right now i'm locked in and i'm focused and i'm slowly but surely bringing this ear cut to life with my babyless lever open i go up about one inch i'm starting to create a second guideline for my transition giving myself some room to break into my face also you want to make sure you brush and you go there's nothing to me like a clean haircut and a clean working area. To remove that second guideline, I usually go for my black babyless clipper. The reason for that, these blades are very thin. They are able to remove that bar line that I created in my first stage of the haircut. So the lower the clippers are, the closer the blade. You want to open the blade as you get higher and higher. So as you can see, I'm adjusting the blade. I'm making sure I push out that second and first line, and then I center the blade and go up a little above my first guide line. So I'm doing that as I go forward. I wanna make sure you are comfortable with whatever clippers and trimmer you are using. Make sure you are able to move that blade freely as you like to. Then with my babyless gold clipper, with my half guard, my lever are fully open get that bulk off then I slightly adjust it centered to remove the lower portion of that bulk. As you can see I'm slowly but surely bringing this fade to life. Speaking of life, sometime in life can never be better 
than the person you surround yourself with. So in order for you to be a good barber, you gotta surround yourself with good barber. You gotta able to hang out with barber. You gotta able to go to barber shop and watch how other barbers do haircuts so you could learn from a few barbers and then create your own arsenal. You can never be a barber if you surround yourself with carpenter and plumber. Not seeing something is wrong with carpenter and plumber, but in order for you to be a great barber, you need to surround yourself with barber. On this side we're gonna do the same thing we do on the previous side we're gonna create our second guideline about one inch up so since I, I already walk you through this process I'm just gonna speed this up a little I just want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers even if you are not a subscriber and you happen to be watching this video and reach, reach this far in the video I want to thank you for staying in thank you for watching and Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also, don't be afraid of commenting down below. Let me know what you think about my work. And um, I'm always open up for advice, you know. No one is perfect and that's how we grow. We gotta learn by our mistake and learn from people who are better than us. If you just keep the conversation clean, keep the comment clean and respectful. And um, I truly appreciate it. Again, thank you all. I love you. Shoot on to Africa. One country, one nation, one love. Love to me at the same time. Also, big shout out to my staff, Mr. Rocky, John, and Stacy. You can find John on Instagram at John Barber for Life. Mr. Rocky, old school barber, OG. You would have to come inside the shop to check in with him. Stacy, our newest member, the stylist in the back walking back and forth over there taking care of her business you can find her on instagram at white dog beauty bar next i'm going with my baby list trimmer to create that shape of the airline i usually start from the center to the right of the client's forehead and work my way then i go up to the center to go to the left of the client's forehead to create a beautiful shape up i'm still working on the angle of the camera as you all can see in this video, it's a little bit better than my previous video. I'm learning to get the camera straight, so now I'm applying my shaving gel, preparing for my straight razor. So now I go with my straight razor to finish the hairline, to give it a sharper finishing. The reason for doing this, a lot of people don't use straight razor, but for the trimmer that I used before, they are not zero gap. I found zero gap sometimes irritate the client's skin. So I'm not really a fan of steel gap. And please don't roast me for saying that. That's just my opinion. I think everyone have the right to their own opinion. So I usually set my blade according to how I comfortable with it and then go over with the straight razor to get that razor finishing. So whatever method you choose, whatever way you're doing it, as long as you are getting that haircut finish perfectly, just be consistent with it and you will be rewarded for it so now i'm just going over with my half guard lever halfway open to make sure i get rid of all those spiking gray hair as i said before gray hair something can be stubborn with my finishing touch i go with my baby trimmer to tap that ear line make sure Especially if you are cutting a client with gray hair, as I'm doing now, you want to make sure you zoom in your eye close to the client's skin so there's no low, short gray hair sticking up the client's skin. After finishing this hair cut, I apply a light spray of sea breeze to the client's skin. Also, play the eye shield. This hair cut is a simple hair cut, but it's dope. If you need a comment section, please do let me know what you think. As I said, I'm always open advice you know 